man, you so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. Lately, it's you. Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. In today's reaction video, what I'm going to cover, y'all, is um, yeah, I think a lot of y'all might have heard it went viral, and I've covered this before in months past, but it's gotten worse. The skyrocketing, crazy STD rate in Houston, H-Town, baby. So I got a whole lot to show you that's going to kind of mess you up a little bit. And I'm going to go a little further out from Houston, and I'm going to give you one of the reasons why we have this skyrocketing STD rate out here. Give me a second as I pull it up on your screen. One second. Gotta get the music on right there so we can jam together. All right, now check this out. Listen to what this woman's about to say, man. It's gonna blow your mind, Jack. Pray that you don't catch that clap clap, because I haven't catch that clap clap. I haven't caught that clap clap. I just caught that stuff you can get rid of. I haven't caught the clap clap yet, though. Thank God, by the grace of God. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want that clap clap. I'm I I I I don't have that clap, but I don't want the clap clap. You know what I'm saying? I don't have glimity gonorrhea, chlamydia, trichomonases, but I don't I ain't never had anything else. So it. yeah, I'm just so tired of these men infecting me. Like, why do y'all choose me to infect? Why do y'all choose me to infect? Why y'all it's it's so many females out here that y'all can infect, but y'all choose me to infect. Why? And I let y'all infect me. I let y'all infect me. I'm tired of being infected. I'm tired of being infected. The reason why they're choosing your monkey tail is because you're giving it up. You're passing it out. I, I'm telling you, the reasoning of today's modern day woman would blow your mind. They don't understand what is going on in real life, y'all. Did you hear this? This woman is proud about having all the rest of the STD, just that one. I mean, she talking about that clap clap. She talking about them uh, H, you know, the HIV type stuff. That's what she talking about. Hold on, man. Yeah, but we can get, come and get in Houston right quick. H Town, baby. And I'm going to show you. Uh, they got things going on this weekend. A swinger thing. That uh, I'm, I'm going to show it all to you. This weekend, today. Let me put this on the screen for you. We're going to further. Let's get it. 42,000 people diagnosed with an STD in Houston, Texas alone last week. Let's get into these numbers. This is the data in Houston, Texas as of June 17th of this year. 3,678 people were diagnosed with chlamydia as of last week. 2,955 people were diagnosed with gonorrhea as of last week. 22,715 people were diagnosed with syphilis as of last week. 17,272 people were diagnosed with HIV as of, you guessed it, last week. There were 315 HIV case reports from adults and 18 from pediatrics. And the crazy part is this is all of last week. This isn't even a month's worth of data. Can you imagine a year? If you have- I'm telling y'all, man, uh, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to show, after this clip, I'm going to show you what they got going on in Houston today. It's a three-day event. And uh, all I can say is, it's bad out here, y'all. It's really bad out here. It, it, it's terrible out here. There's a song by this rap guy, um, I think called Beat King or whatever. I can't remember the exact words to the song, y'all. But the lyric, it goes something like this. You don't want a girl or you don't, because you don't want to share or you don't want a man because you don't want to share. And then he follows, follows that with a lyric that says, this is Houston. Everybody fucking everybody. And I'm going to tell you something. That's the truth. That is the truth. There's a lot of passing around over here. There's a lot of passing bras around over here without condoms, without protection. But it's not just specific to Houston. It's all over the country. Right now, we're getting some attention for it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, man, people are out there are just chasing pleasures. There's a lot of women doing this stuff. Don't let these women make you think that they don't like the pipe, man. A lot of women like the pipe. A lot of women don't care about getting into relationships. They don't care about any of that stuff. Some of these women just want to be ran through, bro. And I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I want you to understand that women have got a lot of men fooled into thinking that the reason why women cheat is because something that the man did or not, or something that he's not doing it. Sometimes she is just a hoe and she likes to do it. 
Okay, like people who do corn, nog, I can't stand you two. I got to substitute words and stuff. You know the word that rhymes with corn? Uh, yeah, the women who do corn on your TV set like that, they ain't always doing it because they need money. They doing that because they like that. They like that stuff, man. And that's what you got going on in next time, baby. Let's keep going. You have never learned to keep your legs closed in your life. I behoove you. I pray that this gives you the spirit of urgency to do so expeditiously. There are people out here who knowingly have these diseases and just giving it to y'all in rotation, like clockwork. Keep them legs closed. And if you're courting someone or proving them, get a test. I don't care if they're offended, get a test because these numbers don't lie. And I'm sure it's only gonna get worse and worse. And she is 100% correct. And I'm not done yet. Let me show you what I said is going on today in, in Houston. Today, there's people that traveled out of town for this event, man. There's people from Louisiana here. There's people from St. Louis here. You know what I mean? It's a big thing. You know what I mean? Because I know some people that's in that um, swing of lifestyle thing. I know some of these folks, man. They had these little groups and stuff. But I'm going to show you something. This is what the event is called, if you can see it on your screen. Hold on. The event this weekend now is called, excuse me, it's called What Happens in Houston weekend let me blow it up a little bit bigger that's what you're looking at it's a pool party do you remember what happened at the mocha fest that was that took place maybe seven or eight months ago in houston this is a three-day event where everybody gonna be fucking okay everybody gonna be half naked or naked fucking on the premises and stuff like that this is what they got going on today it starts today 25 dollars only got a celebrity guest bull ride vendors uh three events let me back it up Three events in three days, starting from June 21st to June 23rd. Can you dig it? And that's that's all the information you need. And if you look at the top right here, it says Lifestyle HTX Presents. That means that, you know, it's a lifestyle, a swinging thing. And a lot of time, man, because the partners I know that'll tell you straight up, they ain't always using protection, man. They swapping juices. They are swapping fluids and all the other kind of stuff like that. They're snowballing, catching nothing in the mouth and spitting in the mouth of other people and shit like that. That's what's going on. Let me show you another um thing right quick and next time. H Town got some freaks and Dallas do too. Dallas got this stuff out there real bad. Dallas got a whole a whole lot, a whole lot of um uh, swinger things and events. And I know a girl that um I was telling my chief moderator, she she on the she on that um gang bang. She charging gang bang money. I'll get that in a minute. Now look at this right here. I got this off of Facebook. And as you could tell, over here, I can't play the video. Now she's on there trying to demonstrate how her body looks. You see on the other side, somebody smacking on the button shit. But look at what the caption say. Hey, one day away from the biggest LS, which is Swinger event of the year. So big, it needed a whole weekend to fit everything in. Who all coming out Friday to the lingerie party? You, you get what I'm saying? So you did. That's exactly what they got going on today. 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 That's what's going on. They're going to be a whole bunch of um, cheek clapping today. Starting today. Now let's get back to the video. I want to try to explain to you why H-Town is in the situation that it is. It's not just because of the lifestyle people. I ain't trying to put it all on them. It ain't just because of people out there, you know, doing what they're doing now. It's a whole, it's that with a whole lot of other stuff going on. Now, let me play this for you. One second. Get on your screen. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry about that. I do apologize. Trying to do so much right here. Here we go. As a word of warning, um, I, okay, so I recently spoke with someone who works in healthcare. And he said that the STDs are soaring in parts of Texas, like Houston especially, and Austin. And um, he's never seen so many people just careless about their sexual health. Gonorrhea, chlamydia, it's got it so bad that they're even putting up fucking billboards in Houston yep. Yep. to like wrap it up. I don't understand why people are not serious about their sexual health and as a word she ain't lying because when you go to h town you see a whole boy something about boys little, little sign boys so like please please protect your dick it, it, it's pretty much what you're gonna see out here in certain places and stuff you know what i mean you ain't gonna see it too much in the black community because they don't, they don't really care too much they want everybody else not to, to protect themselves <laughs> it's crazy man. but i got myself to show you you know how i get down give me a moment or two and i'll pull up on your screen y'all yeah, man, we got to do better than this, y'all. We got to do better than this, but it ain't going to get no better. Let's play. I want to talk about the time that I almost contracted syphilis here in Houston. So I want to preface this conversation by saying this is no shade to the person. 
this is no stigma towards people that are living with other STDs and STIs. I myself am openly living with HIV. I talk about my journey here on TikTok. There's a story time on there about how I contracted because I know that's going to be a question in the comments. So you're free to look down in my TikToks and find that. So to the story time. Before I should get started, I want you to notice when I show these videos of women with HIV and stuff like that, I want you to know how pretty they are. They are. They're beautiful. I ain't talking about this woman on the screen right now. I'm talking about the other women that I've been playing yesterday and today, how they look nice and look real good. You'll never think they have any of that stuff that they're talking about. Think about it. Now you got old Big Bertha here with a big old titty full of HIV. Let's keep going. Y'all, I was out here living my best life. Dating folks, hanging out. I am a queer woman, so I typically date like studs, trans men, you know, mass folks that are in the LGBTQ spectrum. So y'all was talking to this stud. She was so cute and like she was fine, like super fine. And I was really attracted to her. And at the time I was working at a STD and STI clinic where we tested people for HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, that type of stuff. And so a lot of people think that because you're living with HIV, it's so scary to date you. But really, as a person living with HIV, I'm very cautious of the people I date because I know my test results. Every three months, I'm going to go get lab work. We're doing testing for all these STDs and STIs. Like, I'm good on my health paperwork. I go to the doctor every three months. Like, I'm good. I'm worried about people who haven't seen the doctor in years and are just out here living their best life and not paying attention to their health. And I can understand what she's saying, but I want you to look at it from a different angle, y'all. This woman already told you that she has HIV. And this woman is so much of a whore that she was putting herself in a situation where she could possibly get syphilis as well on top of HIV. See, I don't care how nice they try to explain this shit away, man. It doesn't take away from the fact that these women are living lifestyles of debauchery and promiscuity, man. You, all right, she like trans men and she like women. So really, you like both. You buy sex, whatever you identify as, that's what you choose. I know what I say it is. But, uh, and there's no disrespect. But if you got a dick, you know, man, I don't give a damn what you call yourself. But that's my humble opinion. That's my opinion, okay? You don't got to like it. I don't care if you do or not, but that's my opinion. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is this right here. If she's sleeping with so many people that HIV, why are you still taking opportunities and chances to still be in some type of lifestyle to the point where you're about to possibly catch another STD. If she wasn't working in this clinic and get somehow got this woman paperwork, then she would be on TikTok saying, hi, I'm the biggest bitch on the planet with HIV and syphilis. How you do? How, how you do that? How you do? Come on, man. Let's keep going. So I asked her to come to my job. We're just going to do like a routine STD and STI screening. I was only there for like six months. So I was kind of new to the testing part of my job. And so I tested her and it came back positive. And she's looking at me and I'm looking at her. And now mind you, I had already told her my HIV status and told her why I was testing her and stuff like that. And she was cool with it. And so when she got her test results and it was positive, we both looking at each other. So she's like, no, you must don't know what you're doing. Have your coworker come in here. Y'all, my coworker came in there and that test instantly became positive. And I telling this story because i want folks to be very careful when you're out here having a hot girl summer here in houston make sure you are getting tested wearing condoms taking prep doing all the things you need to do to take care of your reproductive and sexual health i'm not saying don't have fun this is not something to scare y'all but sis literally had late stage syphilis like it was like late stage to the point where it was popping up instantly positive and which means it had progressed over time so y'all be careful out here because syphilis is still real like folks are worried about hiv baby syphilis attacks your brain be very careful see they don't just call it hot girl summer for no reason because it, it, you're gonna catch something you're gonna be walking around pissing something hot coming down here baby but it's not just h town it's a whole lot of other shit around. It ain't just us, baby. But I just got to put the highlight on this, man, where I'm at in my city, man. I got to talk about it, man. We got to keep this awareness going, man. It ain't my fucking fault. You know what I mean? That's from getting all them trains running on you and shit like that. And like, oh, hot girl summer demon time. And listening to all that rap music talking about my coochie, my coochie, my coochie so good. Everybody want my coochie. I mean, all that shit, y'all, all that influence of you to just spread the coochie off the music and hip hop, man. I'm going to tell you something. I love hip-hop, man. I love certain hip-hop. 
But on the real talk, hip hop has destroyed a whole lot of shit in our community, man. And the R&B is taking the place of hip hop to an extent now. All because the messages that's coming out of the motherfuckers, man. And you know, a lot of people today are just easily influenced, man. And like I said, I love pure hip hop. I understand the gangster hip hop too. But now, man, everything is just it's upside down. Man. It's just so nasty. Everything is fucked off now. You ask me. But that's like, yeah, that's another thing. My personal opinion. Can you dig it? Hold on, let me go ahead and um. Let you hear what this man got to say right quick. One sec. Top 10 colleges with the highest STD rate. Number 10 is Notre Dame, okay? Notre Dame is Catholic, and we all know how they feel about contraception, which leads to STDs, folks. We all know that. Number nine, Texas Christian University. Come on, Christians. Let's go. Let's figure it out. Number eight, uh, Southern Methodist University. Again, with the fucking Christians. Like, <laughs> practice what you preach, folks. Number seven, Vanderbilt. Hmm, very elite. Number six, University of Tulsa. Number five, Duke. Now, this is like a very uppity school, one of the uh, most expensive schools in the country. I can just see, like, your father and I don't pay money to have you go to Duke and get chlamydia. Number four is Marquette. <laughs> Number three, Troy University. There's some sort of Troy Trojan joke here that I'm too lazy to figure out right now. Number two, University of Louisiana. If you like this list and want more lists about other nonsense, follow me and leave me a comment with the school you thought had the most STDs. Hopefully you're not thinking about this too much. Also follow my Instagram and fiance, Samantha, who I've tagged. Number one, University of Pennsylvania. Shout out to my homies in Louisiana from the boot, man. Y'all made number two on the top 10 of the schools and colleges and shit who have the most STDs. What's up with you, man? <laughs> that's our neighbor, uh, Louisiana. You know what I mean? But there you, man. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Well, anyway, I just had to give y'all some information, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. I could be getting at y'all pretty soon, man. I got something else to drop for you. I'll holler at you later. And I'll see y'all Monday. I got a couple more to do, I think, today. All right. Y'all take it easy now, you hear? Ooh.